and welcome to the first video that we'll try for engineering mechanics one and statics as we've gone on it over the uh, the covid shutdown um so what i'm going to try on this video is just to go through a solution to tutorial sheet three question five and uh, you can access Sulis and download those uh, tutorial sheets there and this is essentially where i felt we had uh, stopped in the tutorials so question five um, gives us a problem that is looking at two forces acting on a bracket, as we can see in the figure, um, just in here. Uh, we've got F1, which is coming off in this direction, so it's a three-dimensional force, and we've F2, which is coming off in this direction, which is, again is a three-dimensional force. And we're asked to determine the resultant of those. So the resultant is simply the result of the two forces acting, and it's a way of expressing that as one single vector. So really what we want to do is to combine vector F1 and the vector F2 into one single vector. So to do that, we're going to treat them as essentially a 3D problem. So that means we'll break each of these forces down into their components. So we'll have F1 expressed in terms of I hat, J hat, and K hat and similarly for F2. And what we do then is we'll just add up the I hat terms and the J hat terms and K hat terms for each of those, and that will give us our resultant. So what I want to do is first of all, break uh, the force F2 into its components. So if I swap over to the camera, hopefully this will work okay. Uh, what we have is F2 written in vector form. is 400 times its direction in Newtons. So again, this here is uh, the 400, is the magnitude, and this here is the direction, okay? And then we have our units uh, in Newtons. So I want to get the direction of the vector F2. And if I flick back to the problem and we have a look at it, um, we can see that we're given angles here with respect to the different axes. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the fact that uh, the direction of the vector uh, F2 would be given by the cosine of these angles. So essentially, all we have is the unit vector is equal to the cosine of theta x i hat plus cosine theta y j hat plus cosine of theta z k hat. Okay. So that gives us a cosine of 120 i hat plus cosine of 45 for the j hat plus the cosine of 60 for the k hat. And if we plug those numbers into a calculator, we should get no, minus 0 0.5 i hat plus 0 0.71 j hat um, plus 0 0.5 k hat. And remember, there's no units on this because it is simply a direction. So to get F2 then, we simply multiply that by 400. So we have 400 times minus 0.5 i hat plus 0.71 j hat is 0.5 k hat. And that will give us uh, minus 200 i hat uh, plus 203 j hat plus 200 k hat. And our units now are in newtons because we've multiplied something that has no dimensions by something that has dimensions of units. Okay, and again, where I'm getting this uh, 120 from and the 45 and the 60, if I just go back, we can see here that this vector is making an angle of 45 with the y-axis. So it's a cosine of 45, gives me the j hat term, which is aligned with the y-axis. I've got 120 degrees with the x direction. So I end up with minus uh, 0.5. And again, if you look at the figure, you can see that that force is pointing off in the negative x direction. And for the z uh, component, the k hat direction, 
I have the cosine of 60. Okay, so that's F2 taken care of. F1 then, you can see that F1 is broken up into its components now, given angles with respect to um, planes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 250 cosine of 35 will give me this vertical component here in the XY plane. And if I take the cosine of that again, I will end up with the J hat term. So the J hat term for F1 will be 250 cosine 35 cosine 25. Likewise, the X direction would be 250 cosine 35, which gives me this direction here. And then the sine of that, uh, 25 angles, sorry, 25 degrees there, would give me the X component. So the I hat will be 250 cosine 35 sine 25. And lastly, the Z direction will be uh, 250 sine 35, and that would be in the minus Z direction. Okay, so if I switch to my camera again, just push up a bit. I have F1 is equal to, let me go back, what is it? 250 uh, cosine 35, uh, cosine uh, 25 for J hat. Um, Plus 250 cosine 35 sine 25 for i hat and plus 250 sine 35 for k hat. Okay, so let's go back to my video. Uh, so you see I've got 250 cosine 35 cosine 25, which is the j hat direction, the 250 cos 35 sine 25 for the i hat and 250 sine 35 for the k hat. So if I work that out, um, I should then get the answer that I'm looking for, which is the 86.5 i hat plus uh, 186j hat, sorry, 186j hat and uh, minus 143 k hat. You know, I should have written a minus there because it points in the minus uh, z direction, just to point out that. But here we'll go minus because if we look back, this is on the k hat. If we look at our figure, we can see that this force is coming down in a negative uh, z direction, so that would have a minus on it. So that's why I need to correct that. I missed it when I was doing it there a minute ago. Okay, so that gives me that in uh, Newton's. And simply what I do now is I add these two together. So I have F1 and F2. So if I simply add these I hat terms together, I get minus 113 I hat. If I add the J hat terms together, I'll get the 468 J hat. And if I add these two terms together, I get the 56.6 K hat uh, Newtons. So that is my resultant. Okay, so I simply take the F2 term, which I have up here, and I have the F1 term, which I've got down there, and I simply add those together to give me uh, the resultant. Okay, so my resultant again in vector form is F1 plus F2. So I'm adding together the I had terms and the J had terms. I have uh, minus 200 uh, plus 86.5 I hat and the J hat I have 203 plus uh, 186 and in the K hat um, I get my 200 uh, minus one four three. Okay, so hopefully you can see that clearly enough. And um, when I add those together, I get the answer um, as expected. Okay, so that will give me this answer uh, here. Okay, uh, this is the first video I've tried to do um, as part of this thing. So I would appreciate 
um, any feedback on it. Uh, this is a new thing for me. I'm sure it's a new thing for you too. Um, if you can give me some feedback on it and let me know, is the sound quality okay? Um, the video quality okay? I know the, the, the visualizer thing isn't probably the best, but I'm a bit restricted in resources at the moment, um, having to work from home. Um, so thank you for your time. Uh, we found it useful. And uh, if this is working, we'll, uh, we'll see more of these coming up.